Hey there, this was sent to me by a viewer. It's very disturbing. We know that Satan plants ministers as ministers of righteousness to preach a false gospel message. This is a satanic website for Satanists. Uh, they overtly say they put people on YouTube to add works to the gospel instead of that Christ died for our sins, was buried and rose again on the third day, and resting in his finished work. They add human works of righteousness, like repenting of your sins and living the good life and doing the good works and the sacraments so that you don't get born again. Okay, let me read a statement from this satanic website. They have Jesus crucified upside down. They mock him. They blaspheme the Holy Spirit. They did a challenge to blaspheme the Holy Spirit. Well, let me explain something. You can't blaspheme the Holy Spirit, uh, per se, if you're still living. What Jesus was talking about is when the Pharisees said that he was casting out devils with the power of Beelzebub. So they were saying that the good works the Holy Spirit was doing were of the devil. That was blaspheming him. And he said, be careful because you're about to go where you can't come back from. God's going to leave your eyes shut and make you reprobate if you keep resisting what God is showing you, the testimony God's giving of his son, okay? So unless you're dead, you really can't blaspheme him. Unless you've spoken all the good things Jesus did, said, it's, no, it's not true, it's of the devil, Jesus is of the devil, it's all of the devil, and then you die rejecting the free gift of salvation, you haven't blasphemed the Holy Spirit. You see? Okay. So that's just a worry. Most people think it has something to do with some sin. No, it doesn't. Uh, Christ by himself purged our sins and sat down at the right hand of majesty. Jesus by himself purged our sins. Okay, there's nothing separating us from God once we're in Christ, okay? And we trust in that alone to save us. Let me read you some of their mission statement. This is what the Satanists say. It was we who told Jesus that he should prove himself as a Messiah. They take credit for this garbage. This was prophesied from the day of old. Since, since the Garden of Eden, the Lamb slain from the foundation of the world, it was always God and the Son, the Father and the Son had an agreement they would save mankind. The first Lamb was slain in the Garden of Eden and covered uh, the sin of Adam and Eve. Abel slew the blood of the Lamb. All of the sacrificial lambs and bull offerings of the uh, tribe of Israel were all foreshadows of the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. So this was always God's plan. Satan didn't plan this and trick Jesus, okay? But this is what they're claiming. It was we, Satanists, who told Jesus he should prove himself as Messiah. He cried like a child to his God the night before we took him to the cross. He begged and pleaded, but his God's words were gone. Let me just remind the Satanists that it was him who crushed the head of the serpent with his death, burial, and resurrection. You didn't win on this, okay? He said, he prophesied in Genesis that you would bruise his heel, the seed of the woman, which is Christ, but he would crush your head, and he did, on Calvary. So you didn't win. We know the end, okay? It's not going to be changed. God's word does not fall to the ground. It always comes to fruition. And then they say, we convinced him that his God would not take this cup from him. And like a sheep, he literally believed that he should be crucified. Yes, he did. Isaiah prophesied that he, like a sheep, opened out his mouth and went to the slaughter. Why? Because he always did the Father's will and he loved us enough to die for us, to pay a price we could never pay. It's up to you. You want to reject it? You want to make fun of it? You won't be laughing long because everyone, every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that Jesus is Lord to the glory of God the Father. You're going to do it now or you'll do it later. Trust me. We told him he was the Lamb of God so he could face death and be victorious. Like a lamb ready to be decapitated, he had no idea what we had done and died without a fight. Okay, let me just tell you right now, Satan didn't triumph there. God himself prophesied in Genesis that Jesus would crush the head of the serpent with his death, burial, and resurrection. We know he rose from the dead. If it was such a victory, how did he rise in a glorified body? And we know the Old Testament saints rose from the dead. Okay, death was swallowed up in victory. So don't listen to these people. But I wanted to let you know they have a website <coughs> where they can bring people on and get them to teach falsely so that people don't hear the real gospel. All right? I just wanted to warn you. All right. God bless.